crafty friends, it's Holly and welcome back to Smile by Holly. It's great to have you here, thank you for joining me. So today we're making just a really quick craft and it's just fast and easy and fun. And we're gonna be making some mini matchbook notebooks. Now, oh my goodness, these could be used for so many things. As a little favor to like a birthday or a shower or even just a cute little gift or something to make for craft fairs or boutiques. Um, I think little kids would really enjoy this, having just this cute little matchbook notebook with some cute paper in there to like doodle on or draw. Or what about keeping one of these in your purse for, you know, like a grocery list or something. I mean, so many different ideas. Now, the thing that is so totally cool about these is these can be made with any size piece of paper. So this is wonderful to be able to use up some of your scraps. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is without any measurements. However, then I am going to actually give you some measurements because I know that there are a lot of you out there that are saying, just tell me exactly what to do. <laughs> so I will give you some measurements for probably a really ideal size for these, but I did want to show you that these can be made with any size paper. So I'm just gonna grab two scraps, okay? Two scraps, this is, I don't even know what size it is, it's just a scrap piece of paper. What you want to do is you want to fold it to where there's, let me show you, about, do you see that? That much at the bottom. So, you know, you're folding about three fourths of it over. Now, when you fold this bottom flap up, you don't want to fold it right to this edge. So let me, let me just kind of show you. If I were to do it right on the edge, I'll make some black so you can kind of see it. If I were to do it right on the edge, it would be right there, but we want to fold it, oh, that didn't work very good. Let me. Just sometimes being able to see score lines is hard. So let me open this up. This is where my paper ends, okay? But you want to fold this flap up about, oh, maybe a 16th or an eighth of an inch, just not right up to that edge. So I'm gonna fold it about like that. Once again, this is such a beautiful project because there's no exact measurements. Okay, so then you would just go ahead and take some regular copy paper. I used, um, I think I used about 10 sheets and I just measured, cut it down to the size of what this piece of scrap paper was. Uh, you insert your little scrap papers. Okay. Get those straight. Just enough so you can uh, now staple them, uh, making sure that you attach this flap plus the papers. Okay, let me just show you. Just add two staples. And then what this allows is this flap is just perfect because it just, actually I'm gonna cut that down just a smidgen. This little flap, flippy flap just tucks right under there and it's so perfect. Isn't that just fun and easy? So let me show you with just a bigger piece of scrap paper, okay? Now this is going to be more oblong, but let's go ahead and fold it over. So it probably won't necessarily look like the standard matchbook, but we'll fold this up once again, not necessarily so we'll fold this up, not to that uh, edge of the paper, but leaving, you know, about an eighth, sixteenth of an inch. And then that is a nice oblong little paper pad. Let me just cut some paper here. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. Just trying to give you, you know, different ideas. Is that gonna work? Yeah, I'll cut it down just a smidgen. Pop that paper in, okay. Go ahead and add my staples. And look at that, oh my goodness, that's actually really cute. Just you can embellish the front or the back or add some 
you know, ribbon onto this part, but it's so nice because that flap just tucks right in there just like a matchbook. So now I am going to give you some measurements. If you're one that just feels more comfortable, um, I've made just a perfect size that I think is adorable for these little mini matchbooks. And so let's just get started and I will show you one with some measurements. Okay, so the three that I'm going to show you today, and I really like this size, uh, the paper I've cut down to nine by four, nine by four, and this makes just a really cute size. So bring your scoreboard in, and I'm even showing you, you know, score lines if that makes you feel more comfortable than just kind of winging it. So let me grab my tool here. You want to score it at one and an eighth, and five and a fourth, okay? One and an eighth, and five and a fourth, and then my last one, one and an eighth, and five and a fourth. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fold these. So how's your day? Are you having a fun crafty day? Well, I hope so. It's a beautiful summer day here in Salt Lake City. And you know, if you've seen any of my videos, I'm always talking about the weather. <laughs> I love, love, love summer. Okay, so I've just cut some paper down. Now, if you'd like to know the size of this, this is three and three fourths by three and three fourths. It fits just nicely into this size. I'm just going to put it right down there at the bottom, fold our little uh, tab over, and then just add two staples, one and two. So look how cute that is. And like I said, there's about 10 little sheets of paper in there, and then the cover just folds over and tucks in. Isn't that just so stinking cute? I love how it tucks in and just holds it in there. So let me go ahead and get some paper in these other ones. And my last one. This is a fun summer paper. I'm trying to think what it's called. I'm not the best at <laughs> remembering what these paper pads are, but it had such a fun summer flare. Look at that, look. Oh, it reminds me of Hawaii and then that just tucks in. So I'm just gonna add some quick embellishments on the front of these. And look at that, that cute bird. Now what is that bird called? It's not a peacock, it's a, it's the bird on the front of the Fruit Loop. Toucan, Toucan Sam. The bird on the front of the Fruit Loops, that's funny. So we'll add that little toucan guy there. I think this would be such a fun little favor for a birthday party. Wouldn't that be just so much fun? Let's see, we'll do flowers there and we'll do summer here. Guys, I'm going for super simple. I just did some pre-made embellishments, added a cute little flower. I got these fun flowers from Hobby Lobby and they already come with the colored jewels in them and if you watch you can usually get the stuff at Hobby Lobby for 40% off if you're watching their sales. I usually never buy anything unless it's 40% off. <laughs> Just because I know if I can wait, you know, like a couple weeks, I'll end up getting it for 40% off. So, and that's worth it to me. So look at those cute flowers there. Okay, now I think it would be fun to add some ribbon right here, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna show you those three quick little matchbook notebooks. Ba-boom, look at that cute set of paper in there. I think I'm gonna put this summer fun one in my purse. <laughs> so anyway, bring in our little teeny tiny one. Isn't that a cute little one? Um, just wanted to show you a quick and fast craft that you could maybe play around with today. So have yourself a nice, fun crafting day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.